The UW-Madison employee behind a survey question asking students if they'd be uncomfortable if assigned a black roommate is now speaking out. Katie Crowther has his explanation of that survey and the question in particular that sparked controversy. A photo of this question was shared across social media without context, prompting a lot of anger. Dr. Will Cox, a principal investigator in the psychology department, says it's part of a survey he administered to first year students. So it's a very standardized sur survey that many different researchers use because it's very effective at getting people to confront these things within themselves. Before being asked to rate how uncomfortable they'd be if assigned a black roommate, the survey asked white students whether they should feel uncomfortable being assigned a black roommate. And the goal is to get people to recognize that there's a little bit of a difference, that you know they know what's right, but they also know that they might not perfectly be in line with what their standards say. So they might be a little bit uncomfortable having a black roommate, even though they believe they absolutely should not feel uncomfortable. It's part of a larger study in which half the students then go through bias habit breaking training that Cox helped create. The other half don't go through the training. Then Cox follows the students over time to study the impact that training had. Dr. Cox says UW-Madison, where only 2% of the student population is black, is a unique place to do this kind of work. We attract a lot of students uh, kind of from bigger cities, from the coasts, um, and they come to Madison, and Madison being an extremely white city, it's the whitest place they've ever been. But then we also have all the students from Wisconsin who are maybe coming from other towns up north in Wisconsin. They come to Madison. It's the most racially diverse place they've ever been. And while he's disappointed a question from his survey was shared online without proper context, he says it points to a bigger issue in the fight against racism. A lot of my other research is how stereotypes and biases spread online through social media. And so that's one of the main things is people often sharing things that haven't been validated. Katie Crowther, TMJ4 News.